and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video guys and today I'm going to be going over the Madden market guys. Now, I think this video was important to make today because there's something specific that a lot of you guys have been asking me. Now you guys probably say, I, you might think I make this video a lot. Now guys, that's because the market's ever changing and I feel like it's a nice staple to the channel, you know. Some things you guys have been asking me are after the reduxes and all the NFL 100 players, should I sell, should I buy, should I wait? Now, I kind of I kind of came to a sad, a sad uh, conclusion here of what I think we should be doing. I'm going to go over all of it obviously. Now. I think this is important because we're in the Madden, we're Madden Limbo, obviously, and it's coming to a point where we're about a week away from a Series 4 and Christmas promo, so I think this is the final time to really make our last minute market moves before the market gets flooded with Christmas, Series 4, and everything else, so last time we get to work with the normal market. Quick reminder, guys, as you guys know, it is the 25 days of Poodmas. I hope you guys have been enjoying the daily giveaways. We only started about two days ago, guys, this will go until the end of Christmas, so remember, it's every single day. We're slowly ranking up. The, we're, we're slowly ranking the rewards up as we go. It's still the beginning. Christmas Pro hasn't even started yet, so we're working with about 30k right now. I will announce the other giveaway winner probably in the 10:30 video. I already gave away the coins to the first guy, which was Mark Harkins, and I'm gonna keep moving up. All you gotta do to enter is comment down below the secret word you're going to hear in some point in this video. Make sure to like the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I wasn't gonna do it sub only. Just gonna keep reiterating that. But the thing is that a lot of random people that who just found my videos were coming, entering the giveaway, and leaving. So. I don't, I don't feel that's right. I want to give away I want to give away back to the guys who support me, not guys who just come for giveaways. So make sure you're subs to the channel, you comment, and you like the video, and when I can verify those three things. Oh, and comment your console, by the way, just so I know which kind of, which console I'm giving you guys coins on. But that's it. Let's get into this video. So I said over to the market. So as you guys do know, about a week ago, or maybe a little less, maybe like three or four days ago, there was the Series Redux Fantasy Pack and the NFL Centennial 100 Pack. Now, both of them did different things. I'm going to give you guys reasons for why I think they did different things. But before we get over to uh, start off with the market aspect of it, where we start with the lower guys and see what things, let's see, let's see what price we're working with here. 86 overalls below 30k. Yeah, the market, the market's coming down pretty, pretty hard, guys. Not gonna lie, it progressively gets worse every day. Now, the reason for this is what I think. What I was telling you guys is that I think people are smarter now because there's so many YouTubers giving them advice. People pre anticipatory, anticipatorily, if that's a word, sell things in anticipation for a new promo. In years past, right, like Madden 13, you know, back back in the ancient days of Madden, people wouldn't sell things beforehand because they didn't know when things were coming out. So then the day the Christmas promo dropped, the market would crash, and you, you, it'd be easy if you were smart to sell everything right before, make a quick buck when it starts. Now everyone has so many YouTubers like me, my, you know, myself, other guys on YouTube that tell you guys about a lot of advice, so then people now sell in advance, which is why my, my theory this year has always been sell a few weeks in advance. Because if you sell the week before, like everyone's doing now, everything's gonna come down and you're not gonna make any profit. And then, ironically, things actually come up when the promo starts sometimes because people sold for so cheap that if they don't like the new content, like, oh, they sold for so cheap, then it's like, oh wait, this content's not that great. Okay, I want my cards back. That's a, that's a real thing that happens. I've, I've seen it all year. Like, let's say, let's say Joe Hayden, right? Let's just say he, for an example, oh, I love my cornerback Joe Hayden, but the Harvest promo's coming. They'll probably drop a good cornerback. I'm, not, I'm gonna sell him. Sell him for cheap. Okay, ready. Harvest drops. AJ Bouye, not that great. It's like, oh, I want Joe Hayden back. People don't care for the new cards. They come back to their old cards, and the prices actually end up going up. So, that's a very real thing that's happened this year, and I've seen it. Now, let's, let's filter these out, see what they're sitting at. Obviously, it's early in the morning, so prices are always not as cheap as they could be. Flashback's pretty steady, but that's also because it's not flashback day. It's usually on the flashback day, they're pretty, pretty cheap. Now, let's heading over to the 90s. I'm more curious about this. Then I'm going to get into the Redux and Centennial 100 players eventually. Now, the 90s. Honestly, the 90s look like they're a little bit up right now. People need training right now. I mean, I wouldn't call this up, right? What do 90s go for? Is it 46, 40? Let's see what the training value is. 88, 100 divided by, I believe it's 46, 40. 18 coins per train. So that is not the best trains per, uh, trains per, trains per coining. Coins per training that I've seen. I've seen 13, so that's definitely not the best one. But you have to remember, it's not flashback day, so it's, it's kind of like one of the dead days. It's just it's a six series day. Six series is cool, but it doesn't really affect the market as much as people might actually think. It, it doesn't really affect it at all, quite honestly. I remember back in the day, guys, in the first month of Madden, when these cards were so expensive. I remember back like, oh, Kevin Mawai, 300k, Jerry Rice, 300k. Things are so cheap now. Obviously, though, you know it's it's cheap, but at the same time, when they were overpowered is when they weren't cheap. Now they're just regular cards, so now they're not going to be expensive. But that is the way that Madden goes. Now, 92 to 93s, 
they've come down quite a bit. Now let's see the series redux prices. Actually, I want to see the legends first. Then we'll go to the series redux. So the legends are looking like they're going for 160. Not horrible. Not not crazy. Good price though. If you guys don't remember, John Henderson was about 300 like 30k about two weeks ago. Definitely came down quite a bit. Ooh, wow, prices are cheap right now. Obviously, it's not the cheapest we've seen, but it's not expensive either. Gene Upshaw's, oh, Randy Randy Cunningham came down, well, Randall Cunningham came down quite a bit. The secret word for this video is jingle bells. Comment down jingle bells down below. Like the video and hit that subscribe button to be entered for the giveaway. Make sure to check out all the other videos today. Do the same thing. Probably because of the Lamar Jackson drop. I knew it was bait. I remember when Randall Cunningham came out, I was like, I'm going to get Randall Cunningham. I was so hyped. And then I was like, wait a second. I know Matt. I know Madden. Whenever they drop a second a second party version quarterback like this, they end up dropping the, the banger the next week. Like what they did with Steve Young and they dropped, um, what was it? They dropped Steve Young and they dropped Vic. Same thing. I don't fall for it. And I waited. Now I have my Lamar and I'm happy. As much as you guys might disagree with me, that's the route that I chose to take. Now let's go over to the series Redux. I'm really interested to see these prices. So the Redux prices, I think it's time to sell on them. Here's the thing. When they first came out, they were here. I bought a bunch. When they later that night, they were like here. I should have sold. Then the next day, everyone everyone waits to sell now because that's our advice. They were here, so they've been sitting here. They've been like pretty much you couldn't even make a profit back on what you bought them for. It was very rare you could. Now they look like they're up right now, guys. If you're watching this video and you still have some Redux, I think it's time to sell them because Matt Ryan. I bought him for 115. I sold them for about 165, 170, and now he's coming up a little bit. Alvin Kamara was 160 yesterday. Le'Veon Bell was 170. Gronk was about 205. Vic was 205 at one point. Let's see some other guys here. Andrew Luck's in the 300k range. He was like 220 on that night when everything crashed. Now Kittle is a guy that I took the L on. So Kittle, I bought, I bought two of them. One for, I pulled one. I bought the other one for like 330. I had to sell him for 350. I lost like 10k coins. I thought it'd be a great investment. He did not come back up. Now here's the reason why I think they didn't come back up. I'm gonna give you guys my full analysis on this, since you guys are probably wondering like, why didn't they come back up? You have to realize, series Redux cards aren't anything special. They're merely cards that have hype because they used to be LTDs. But in the in the, in the the large landscape of Madden right now, are 92 overalls really that really that crazy? You wanna, you wanna see what a 92 overall looks like? 92 overalls are this right here, this Clinton Portis, and this Dallas Clark, you put a little pink paint on them and now they're special, right? That's, that's as simple as that. These cards are nothing special. There's nothing special about this Matt Ryan, but people know that. Now see this Gronk, why is he still 200K? If, he, if Dallas Clark looks like he could be better than him. Because he's Gronkowski. He was an LTD. People still hype him because they're LTDs. But then all that the series Redux pack showed us was that when there's a lot on the market, they're not so special. The only thing that kept their price up was because there was li limited amounts of them. And they had some hype. But then we, we introduced thousands of them to the market. They, they crashed. Like, that was that simple. If they were really that great, people would have bought them up and they would have sold them for a lot more. So that's pretty much, it's just as simple as the demand for them isn't as crazy as people think. And they're just, they're just overhyped cards. Now, when they first come out their beast but the thing was we're already almost in series four we're like we're like a month or two past these cards prime we're already working with 94 95 overall cards so they're not that great anymore like aaron donald it's sad though right so kill i was like wow that is the best end in the game i cannot wait he still is in my opinion the best end but when i first saw this i'm like whoa now i upgraded him like eh no, he's good he's good same, same with donald i was like wow i cannot wait to get that donald card that's the best end in the game now I'm like, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. He's great. He's a great card, but the stats don't look as overpowered anymore to me at first glance because I see other cards with similar type stats. But it's kind of just what you got to work with at this point. Randy Moss 360, that's an overhyped card, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I would buy it when it's a little cheaper because I do want to eventually power him up so that I can make myself the eventual crew Randy Moss we're going to get. But Michael Irvin's the better card by far. It's, like, it's, not even, it's not even a debate. Michael Irvin's a better card. But Randy Moss will get the next upgrade, which is why people are probably still holding on to him. Guys like Dion are worth it, though. I think Dion's still worth it. He's not overhyped. Dion is, is the truth. He gets me picks, interceptions, pick sixes. I think I just said picks three times. I'm sorry. But you guys get the point. I think that that's, I think that that's definitely worth it. Other than that, the only ones that are worth it for me are Kittle, Dion, and Donald. Those are kind of the only ones that I really want to like shout out coins for. And Lux, obviously, is probably still the best quarterback in the game, passing-wise. And, you know, well-rounded-wise. He's the most well-rounded quarterback in the game, but... I can't make that switch. I love my Lamar. He's too fast for me to not want him. Now, the NFL 100s took a different turn. Now, here's the thing with NFL 100s. They introduced thousands of them, right? They crash. But the difference is NFL 100s are cards that are wanted. At the end of the day, they're cards that are the best cards in the game. So, it's like you give out $1,000, right? A lot of money. Just everyone takes it. You give out another $1,000, it's still going to want it. It's not like it, it depreciates value. Now, 
you give out a thousand yo-yos, everyone has a yo-yo now. They don't want any more. Like the Redux card, literally, like they're like yo-yos. Everyone has them now. Everyone got their packs. Everyone got the coins. Like, eh, okay, they're not that special anymore. NFL 100. At first, they crashed, right? Because that's just supply and demand. It's economics. They were gonna crash, but they did have to come back up, and they did quite well. Like, uh, let's give you guys an example. Eric Dickerson, when they first dropped, Eric Dickerson crashed down to wow. He was okay. Please don't tell me that's the actual price. Eric Dickerson was about 420k, and now he's at 740k. He crashed because there was too many of him. But once people dried up the market, that was it. He's back up. Barry Sanders was about 330 at the time. Now he's 540. Lawrence Taylor didn't come down too much because they were brand new. Like the newer ones didn't come down too much because they had just come out. There wasn't money of them to begin with. But that does wrap it pretty much up. Sears Redux, I think you just sell. Take the L if you did. If you have to, take your coins. Take just cash out of the Sears Redux market because Sears 4 is about to come out and there's going to be even more Redux on top of that. So I, I recommend cashing out now. NFL 100, you don't have to cash out on. You could, I mean, they're up right now, honestly. If you want to cash out, by all means, go ahead, because I don't know what they're going to drop at Christmas. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'd cash out. These are crazy expensive. They're not going to be this expensive forever. But that's about it for the video, guys. Don't forget to go join the giveaway of the 25 Days of Poop Miss. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel, comment down the secret word that I said in the middle of this video, and make sure to hit that like button. You do all those three things, and I verify that. You'll be entered to win. Now, this will be on all four videos for the day or all three videos. So you just got to go to every video. I will be picking one video randomly. So remember, it might not be this one. So make sure you're checking out all of them. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next time.